Well, thank you. I know that you guys are in a hurry to get home, so I will keep my comments brief. I love Western North Carolina. I love Western North Carolina because it has nurtured and provided for me and my family and my people for multiple generations. And because of that, it's just been my greatest honor to serve on this leadership council for the Optum Initiative. And it's my honor to stand here before you tonight. I think I was asked to join the leadership council because I work for LTLT, the Land Trust for the Little Tennessee. And as Ben said, LTLT is a regional organization. We have a three-pronged mission to con conserve land, restore water quality, and maybe most importantly, to connect people to their resources, to those natural resources. The Land Trust for the Little Tennessee works in six of the seven Region A counties. We work on everything west of the Balsam Mountains. So we understand the challenges that are associated with working across county boundaries. We understand that the demographics are different. Certainly there are different leadership styles, and I have certainly learned that on this leadership council. Sitting there with all these, the chairs of the, of the, um, board, of, the board of commissioners, it's just been fascinating for me. But we also see similar attitudes throughout our region, and particularly we see the attitude that was expressed by John Silver on the video that you saw earlier, the attitude of it's all about leaving a legacy. Don't we all want to leave a legacy? Well, certainly a lot of the people that the Land Trust for Little Tennessee works for, or LTLT works for, they've chosen to leave a legacy in, through their land. And a lot of those landowners have chosen to exercise a private property right that they have to permanently conserve their land. And we're proud to work with all the landowners we're wor we've worked with, but we're probably most proud to work with the landowners who have working lands, be it farm or forest land. And some of the projects we've worked on that has active farming includes, includes Ridgefield Dairy in South Macon County, some of the best ice cream in the region, that is for sure. It also includes Ridgefield Farm in Cherokee County, home of Brasstown Beef that's sold throughout the southeast. And it also includes farms like a small organic farm on Tilly Creek in Jackson County. That farmer sells to the local sells produce to the local restaurants and he also sells every Saturday morning in Jackson County fresh produce and sometimes he has trout as well. All of those are important to the economy of this region and all of them are important to leaving a legacy for those landowners. We're really proud to work with them. Another, we also work with a lot of um, working forest and our founding director Paul Carlson who's in the audience today, he has worked, he is a registered forester and Paul has worked closely with Dr. Peter Bates and foresters at Western Carolina University to implement and to educate but particularly implement best management practices on some of these forest lands that are such an asset for this region to ensure that in the future we will all in addition to having sustainable timber harvest, we'll also have clean water quality and protected soils as these best management practices are implemented on these lands that they promote those things as well. We think that's quite a great legacy to leave behind too. The Land Trust for Little Tennessee or LTLT also has a focus on cultural lands and that's led to a strong partnership with the Eastern Band of Cherokee and the Cherokee Preservation Foundation. We're really proud of that partnership. And we have, that partnership has actually led to the conservation and the return of the historic Cowie Mound to Cherokee tribal ownership after almost 200 years. We're so proud of that. Thank you, thanks. <laughs> Most recently, we completed the Hall Mountain Project. Hall Mountain is a prominent mountain overlooking Cowie Mound and we completed that and now it's in tribal ownership as well. And I say that to mention the partnerships, these projects aren't, weren't su successful just because of the partnership with the tribe and LTLT. They're successful because of a broad range of partnerships. And LTLT has been successful over this region because of its broad partnerships. And that's what it's gonna take for us to be successful in this region into the future of broad, partnership where we all come together and work together for the future of Western North Carolina. In closing, I would like to just mention two of the two of the policies in the vision that are really close to my heart and they are 
One, protect the region's scenic beauty and the unique ecosystems. And two, celebrate the region's Appalachian and Native American heritage. Of course, these two policies really speak to my heart. They're my passion. That's what I do every day for, li for my living. It's my passion. But isn't it truly the beauty of this area, the mountains in this area, and our clear, pristine river systems, and our deep and our rich cultural heritage? Those are the things that bring people to this area. Those are the things that attract people to this area. And as Dr. Morris said in the video, and I understand he's here, so I'm quoting him, he said that an area that attracts tourists also attracts the future employees who want to live and work and play in the area, and that it also attracts the future employees who want to locate in an area. We have it all here. We have it all, and we can keep it all, too. We can continue to have a region that nurtures and provides for its people, but in order to do that, we have to come together. We have to come together as partners across our, our county boundaries and with the tribe to elevate all of us in this region. And in the end, if we do that, and I hope we do, that'll be a legacy that we are all leaving behind. Thank you.